Hello, I'm Michelle Miller. Today, I'll be speaking with John Grimp, Chairman, President, and CEO of FMC Technologies, and to Terry Polinko, Chairman and CEO of Technique, about Forces Subsea, a joint venture that unites the experience and capabilities of these two subsea leaders. So let's find out more about this industry-changing alliance that will revolutionize subsea field architecture from concept to delivery and beyond. Hello, John. Hello, Terry. Welcome. My first question to you both is, what forces initially brought your two companies together? So, John, why Technip? Easy to answer. We're a market leader in our scope of a deep water development, and Technip is a market leader. So why wouldn't we want to match ourselves up with another market leader? But there's another reason. As we got to know more about Technip, we realized that we shared many of the same values. And that's a good place to start if you're forming an alignment. All right, Terry, um, why FMC Technologies? Right from the beginning, we realized that we shared the same vision about how to improve efficiency, cost, and how to innovate in the subsidy field developments. So this was a no-brainer that the two leaders together could come up with better solutions than anything that existed in the market. And Forces Subsea is the result. Can you tell us what it is, what is the areas of its expertise, and how and where will it operate? Forces Subsea is a joint venture which is the result of this exclusive alliance between FMC Technologies and Technip. So Forces Subsea will focus on designing at a very early stage the best possible solutions that can be therefore implemented throughout project's implementation at the best cost and with the most robust solutions for the industry. Forces Subsea will operate worldwide and will be headquartered in London. How will Forces Subsea enable your customers to solve their biggest challenges? Well, the biggest challenge in our industry is the fact that our customers, the exploration production companies, have been very successful in discovering significant hydrocarbons offshore. But there's a problem. The cost to develop those discoveries has increasingly grown. It's gotten so high that a lot of these developments are not economic. So the problem to be solved is to make the economics of a particular project improve. And the only way to do that is to lower costs. That's the challenge that the industry faces. They've found the hydrocarbons, but they can't develop it because it's too expensive. Forces Subsea is the answer to that problem. The combination of our two companies allows us to come up with innovative ideas that can make significant reductions in cost and make those deep water discoveries economic. What makes Forces Subsea different from the competition? Well, first of all, these are the two clear leaders in the industry. Nowhere else in the industry you can find the competencies the expertise and the ability to take those projects from the very early stage, the conceptual stage, all the way to delivering the project and also looking at the life of field and how to improve the production over the life of the field. Had you vetted the alliance with any of your customers? And if yes, what was the response? One of the things that's made FMC so successful is our close relationships with our customers. They're so close, in fact, that we take most of our cues for new technology, changing our strategy directly from our customers. You could say our company is actually customer inspired. We're so confident that it will be successful because it's coming directly from the requests of our customers. As a result, we've tested this idea, if you will, to our customers, and they've been very enthusiastic. Specifically, our two teams actually got together and did a test of an existing project where both of our companies worked on this project originally. Now this field is now in production, has been very successful, but our two teams came together and looked at this project again with a fresh set of eyes. How could we do this different and how could we do it together? And the results were amazing. We came up with significant cost reductions. And this was just the first pass, if you will, we're confident that once we learn how to work together and have more experience, that the increase in savings will only go up. What does the immediate future hold for Forces Subsea? 
Well, we have to go through some regulatory approvals, and we don't imagine that that will take very long, but I believe in the second quarter, Forces Subsea will be up and running. That means very quickly we're going to form the teams and looking at uh, the opportunities, the organization, and starting to talk to customers about how can we bring this value proposition together. You know, our customers used to work with our companies in silos. They would come to us, try to improve what we were doing, but independently. And that was one of the most inefficient interfaces in the industry. Now, by having FMC Technologies and Technip together through Forces Subsea, we will eliminate this inefficiency. And therefore, this is going to be the immediate focus of Forces Subsea. Finally, what message do you each personally have for your employees? Well, what I'd like to say first is that uh, through this process, which has taken several months and has got into a lot of depth from a technology standpoint, from a business model standpoint, also from uh, understanding the customer standpoint, we have found out that we were sharing the same vision, we were sharing the same culture and the same passion for excellence. And this is going to create fantastic new opportunities because we are not going to stay where we are today and just optimize what exists. We are going to also write the roadmap for the future. And I think this should be very exciting for our teams because they know they belong to the two leaders of the industry and they know they're going to write the next chapter now. Technip and FMC Technologies are both great companies. But the truth is great companies don't always stay great. They're unwilling to change because they've been so successful. Great companies stay great because they change when there's no compelling reason to change. They challenge how they do things, even though they're successful, and do them even better. That's what's happening today. Our two great companies are challenging how they do their work. And as a result, our greatness will be sustained. All right, John, thank you so much. Terry, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. So there you have it, the inside story from John Gremp and Terry Polinko about Forces Subsea, a joint venture that will revolutionize subsea field architecture. For more information about Forces Subsea, visit the website, www.forces-subsea.com.